The Earth's rotational pull has shifted over two feet in the last 20 years, and researchers have identified why, and it's really not good. Turns out reallocation of underground water caused the tilt, and researchers modeled it. Yep, our best explanation for why the tilt has changed is with underground water being pulled up and placed on the surface or into the ocean. Yeah, the Earth is not really that big, and apparently little changes in where mass is located can have big consequences. And it's not just water that's being pulled up from aquifers. They've also found that making dams and allocating water into large reservoirs had also caused a shift. Between 1835 and 2011, we did see about three feet of change in the polar tilt, and now it's increasing exponentially. The change in tilt will drastically affect weather systems. We're going to see more extreme weather, and in places that you wouldn't otherwise have it, part of the problem is that we built our societies based on the weather we got, and now it's changing. But wait, there's more. There's other really bad consequences to draining aquifers. Now, in case you're not familiar, aquifers are underground water sources. They end up trickling through from the land and making these deposits over millions of years. They are not renewable. But we also found out that our cities are being supported by them. We humans like to make cities near where there are water supplies. We use aquifers for things like agriculture. And when they run out, that is a huge problem. I mean, what are we going to do with our inland cities? People are just going to have to move because we need water. There have been some efforts to figure out how we can refill them. That is great. But there's another issue that pulling from them is making our cities collapse. So you can see in this map of elevation changes, and this was made by NASA, those that are in dark blue are sinking and red are elevating. Yeah, maybe it's good for the coastal cities to be a little bit more elevated. This has been attributed to pulling from groundwater. Apparently you can't take the water that is underneath a city and expect it to just be fine. It feels like this should have been obvious. I do want to clarify, this is not how mountains are made. Yeah, you might get a little tiny bit of elevation change from other stuff sinking down, but mountains are much more associated with geological activity and fault lines. It's just maybe not great to end up with a depressed city. Not to mention you're going to be more susceptible to flooding that might come because of the changing weather patterns. Yeah, even small changes in elevation can have a massive impact, and it's also really not great for sturdy structures in a place that is, you know, on a fault line. And while this is all happening, our reallocation of water doesn't really help the situation with the sea levels rising, but that's primarily ice caps melting. We have small island nations that have to completely evacuate because their entire country is like three inches over sea level. Tuvalu and many countries like them are being fully evacuated. They are, however, the origin of the .tv doname. You can see their prime minister giving a briefing, trying to tell people this is what's happening. It's, it's not... Great! I do also want to remind you that the tilt of the pole is not the same thing as the magnetic pole, but that's in trouble too. I don't think that one is our fault. The magnetic poles do reverse every so often. There's just a massive anomaly over the Pacific Ocean where you cannot use a compass. But yeah, the weakening of our magnetic field is a problem. It is going to affect satellites, it's going to affect technology, it also protects us from the sun. So when there's a solar storm, we don't get fried. That one is, you know, probably going to happen no matter what, and we should probably figure out how to keep our technology safe from it. You have no idea how much of your life is mediated by satellites. So yeah, doom and gloom, cities are sinking. We should really probably figure out what to do about water, but I think this is all going to get much worse before it gets better. When the apocalypse comes and the robots rebel, I'll probably be the one to tell you about it. Follow for more.